Hey YouTubers, up here Spain, Terry Rich in Ben and Morel. Today we've got a Peugeot 5008 and we're doing the top mounts. So, take you through the process. We have to take off the wiper blades, or well, the arms, because it lives that on there and the bits we want to get to to unbolt the top of the shock are down in there all right first thing i do i'll put out this little channeling stuff <coughs> tops off the wiper arms both sides. And then, if I remember, it's 16 mil socket. 16 mil. Both of them off. Now, if we give them an absolute wiggle. So, if they're tight like that, right, it's going to be a little, little spray up. A WD40 or something similar. Right, we're going to unbolt the And uh, so no tools or anything involved, just gently give it a wiggle, let the WD do its work or whatever penetrating fluid you use, see so that, no, no nasty bits in there. There you go, just wiggle it off. And when you, uh, when you put your blades down, Keep them in the, the right orientation, just so you mess about afterwards. So the strip off next. So we have, do this in order, 10 mil bolt there. One, two, three, four, Five, six clips. Ten mil bolt there. And the brake fluid reservoir. The blades, right, let's just get them started. Get a little screwdriver underneath. And then hopefully get our removal tool in. Go through all of, go along all of them, and then we get on to the next bit. Right, so they're all out. This one was a little bit of a fight. So now we've got the two for brake fluid reservoir, and they are two twenties. So we'll undo both of these next. And again, we're only going to pass it, so it shouldn't be too tight to undo. And when you put them back together, don't over tighten them because you just strip the plastic. One. So come on. So 
tell no, no it's got my hand underneath it. Just drop it down there and keep it as flat and straight as possible. So there's 10 mil here, which is the same as the other side. Then we have this bolt here in the centre and it's the T30. T30. So what we need to do now is pop up all the way along here. Right to the other side. It sits in like a little plastic channel. Now you need to be careful because they get brittle and break. So just gently does it. Right, so get a trim tool. Let's try and just get in the channel. Go along, just tease, tease it out. All the way along. So don't use a screwdriver for this. Now we've got some good movement going on here. So we'll go to the other side and work way right along that side. Yeah, so I'm not forcing it, just giving it a little wiggle, let's get the plastic trim tool behind it. Twist that. Give the pen a little wiggle. Work along. There we go. That's loose now, the way. Split out. Bit tight on this piece of rubber. And it just lifts out. So there's the top of that strut. And the top of that one. So you see why we had to uh, do all the unbolting there. Let's raise the vehicle, wheels off, and then attack it. Right, so wheels off. Now we've got a few bits to unbolt. So, two bolts, and that's some bolts. One here, and one here. That's what locates the, the strut onto the knuckle. Then this little tab here, you lift it. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, slide that. Now that's the ABS sense wire, just keeps it out of the way. Next thing, unbolt, unbolt the top of the drop link. So that's a, on this particular one, it's a 16. Okay, so the whole lot's turning. So we need to find a uh, talks a bit to put in there. It's quite small. Right, that's a T30. Take a spanner behind it and just hold it. Right. 
that could just sit back out of the way now. Be careful of the uh, ABS sensor wire, it looks alright. Through these, the nut is an 18, and the bolt head on the other side is also an 18. Now these are captive, but these bits of metal that keep them captive aren't very strong, so put a spanner on it. I want to undo it from the bolt head side when I can, because that way I can get the, the bolt moving nice, <coughs> nice and freely. One. Now the bottom one, just down here behind the brake caliper, I'm not going to fully remove yet. So they're the two nuts there. I'll just keep that other bolt just sitting in there for now. Then go drop it down and undo the nut on top of the uh, shock absorber or strut. Right, so that's the top. So in there locates a seven mil Allen bit. So be seven, and it's a twenty-one nut. It sits on the top of it. On the socket, and then I'm going to be pulling. They are a little tight. The reason I left the bolt in the bottom is so it just doesn't decide to drop straight down. So that's loose at the top end now. So take this bolt out. Now we can retrieve the shock. Strut. Look at the spring. This is the identification of the spring. That is by this piece here. So I kind of, you know, we like to get it the same going back together as when we took it apart. Tab at the front here on the top. Let's get it in there.
Yeah, so this rubber sock, like this where the top of the spring locates into that stop. And then the bottom one, here's the sock, here's the bottom of the spring. So just bear in mind, when you're putting it back together, that's how it's gonna go. So if you see, it's got lug each side of it. And it's important to so get those located here and here on the other side. That's how that top mount needs to fit in. So I basically put the shot back in its hole Made sure the locators were correct. And now what we do is we, we get the bottom bolt in. A little bit of jiggery pokery. So either bolt. Through the knuckle would do. So that holds that in place now. Come on, check with your hands. It's still located where it should be, which it is. So we've got the drop link in. So I'm not going to go through all the torque settings. There's always a check with your own vehicle. Put that on. Get the bottom bolt through. You need to start these by hand, as I always say. And snug them up and then torque them. I'm just snugged up now. Snugged up, torque wrench right next. You can see they Next we drop it down, the bits on top, so two bolts, done, drop link, done, ABS wire back in place, shock in its locators. Now what we do, we snug up this top bolt, or nuts. 
And I did just pull this down by myself, a bit more room in there. So basically, done the other side, we get this to the together now. And it's, yeah, exactly what I always say. Refitting is reversal of the discount on the side. Two little locating slots. Slide them in. Jack the screws. And again, can of plastic. Don't over tighten because it'll just strip me up. Just to feed them. That's all you need. All we do. So where that trim locates, all along here, just run a little screwdriver along it gently. Pull the crap out of it. As it goes on, you need to feed the gutters down. Same for all these things, not race. Take time. And then you So this is where it taps in. So you line it up with this and you just push it all the way along. Yeah, these little fillers, so.
zit uh, in het midden. En again, it's only the past week, so just nip it. Go through the worm strip. Couple more clips. Same on the other side. On your own car, you'll be able to see there's a little sort of witness mark where the wipers like to sit. So just line them back up with that and you won't be too far wrong. What do we say? 16s? 16s. And that is the job. Yes, that was just a little job. A uh, pair of top mounts on a Peugeot 5008. Uh, pretty straightforward. As always, take your time, check your own torque specs. Um, and if you haven't got the tools, I mean, we I can press road springs in my big machine. Um, never been a fan of doing it with the little wind up jobbies, but you know, each their own. But of course, uh, for your responsibility, safety, you know, when them springs set go, they go big time. But anyway, um, hope you like the video. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll get back as soon as I can. Thank you.